Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord who God's life. Okay, baptism, last one. In summary, before we move on to the Lord's Supper, all of it really kind of falls down into this. Is baptism something that we do for God or something that he does for us? And that matters. Because baptism being something that we would do for God, that's easy on the day that you're baptized. That's easy when you're a baby and got really nothing else to do that day. That's easy even as an adult. When I came to the font when I was 19, my heart was in it. I was having a, a great day. I felt on fire. It's easy for the good day when baptism is your work, but what about the dark ones? What about the scary ones? What about the ones where you don't feel it in your heart? If baptism is still your flag to carry to show God how much you love him, what about then? What about when it gets even worse? Luther would conclude in the large catechism. But if anyone fall away from it, let him again come into it. For just as Christ, the mercy seat, does not recede from us or forbid us to come to him again, even though we sin, so all his treasure and gifts also remain. If, therefore, we have once in baptism obtained forgiveness of sin, it will remain every day, as long as we live, that is, as long as we carry the old man about our neck. See, this is Christian life. We run from God. He never runs from us. If baptism is our work for God, we run from that too. But he never runs from us. If baptism is God's work for us, then we actually have an answer for every time that we sin and fall short, for every time that we need him but are too sinful, too afraid, too unclean to seek him. We have been given in our baptism a daily help, a source of comfort that will never forsake us as long as we live in this life. So here's the thing. Maybe it's been a while since you thought about your baptism. Maybe your baptism's been waiting just for today for you to think about it. Maybe start there. Remember, you're baptized. This treasure, it's still yours. Whatever you're going through, whatever you've done, whatever, whatever has been done to you, baptism is God's promise to love, forgive, cleanse, help, comfort, and save you. Baptism is God's work for you, and that matters. It's not just about obscure theology. It's about your weakest, darkest day. This thing doesn't have to survive on you. It lives as surely as Christ is risen. So start with the resurrection, not your strength or your weakness. Start with your Lord. Start with your baptism. Because there, your God is at work for you, to help you, to save you, and to grant you a gift that endures all the things in this world that we can possibly screw up. Remember, baptism is God's gift for you. 